With the Looks feature inside Pro Video Player 2, you can now define multiple different looks and switch between these at any time to alter the way your content is being shown. Here's an example with a video wall in the center of the stage surrounded by an arch of displays. You'll notice the first photo shows our content spanning across to all the displays. In the second, we still have a video wall with content spanning across those displays, but the outer arch now has full screen content on each of the displays. And with looks, this has never been easier. So I've gone ahead and created a similar output arrangement to the example you just saw. So if I play back some content to layer one, you'll see we have that center video wall and an arch of displays, and our content is currently spanning across to all of these displays. And then in layer two, we can play back some content, and you'll notice it only plays across that center video wall, and it's spanned across those four displays. Now, before we go ahead and create our looks, we need to talk about target sets. Target sets control how content is being played back within a particular look. To create or edit these target sets, we just need to go to Edit to show our layout editor, and we'll see our normal layers area here. And you can see in layer one, we currently have one target that spans across to all of our different outputs. But if we flip down this target sets menu, you'll see we actually have three target sets set up. We have all, which again spans across to all of our outputs. We have a wall plus tiled, which spans across just the video wall in the center and then is full screen on the outer arch. And then we have a tiled set where all of our content is full screen on every single display. Then for layer two, we have two different target sets, one that spans across our video wall in the center and one that is tiled on the video wall on the center. We can easily add more target sets by hitting the add icon and adjusting our targets to the way we want them. So now that we understand how to set up target sets, now let's trigger them using looks. So let's close this out. Into view looks, we just need to go to view, show look button, and then in the drop down, we can manage our looks. Let's create our first look, and I'm going to call this spanned. And we're going to create a look that is spanning content across to all of our displays in each layer. So over here, we can now add a layer and choose which target set we want. So we'll choose layer one. And then from the drop down, we can choose all, wall plus tiled or tiled. We want to choose all because that's the one that spans across to all of our displays. Then for layer two, we're going to choose our all target set as well for our spanned look. Now we can add a couple more looks pretty quickly here by hitting add. Uh, for this look, we'll call this tiled. And again, we'll go in and add our layers. So layer one, we'll go in here, we'll set this to tiled. Layer two, we'll utilize a different tiled target set. And then the last look we'll add in, we'll call spanned plus. And for this one, we'll go in again, add layer one. We'll go in here and we'll add our wall plus tiled. And then for layer two, we'll add in our all look so that our content always spans across the center display, but also tiles around the outer edge. So now let's look at these in action. So I'm gonna close out of that look menu, but now when we click on it, you'll see our three different looks show up. We can still manage our looks, but these have been automatically added and assign different hotkeys that we can use to change our looks out. So we're gonna start with our spanned look. We can play back some content to layer one and it plays back just as we would expect spanning across to all the displays. But if we go to layer two and play back our content there, you'll see it's spanning across that center display. But now if I would switch this to tiled, you'll notice it switches all of them to tile. If I clear out layer two, you'll see that the center video wall in layer one is still tiled as well. And lastly, we can go to our spanned plus look. And here you'll see that we have full screen content on the outer arch, but then we have span content in the center. And in layer two, if we play back video, you'll see that's spanned across those four displays as well.